next award goes to two sisters, Shauna and Kara Hamill, age 18 and 20, who are two rotor actors from Kenilworth in Warwickshire. Their mother is a senior healthcare professional with a BAME background. When the pandemic hit, she faced huge difficulties accessing PPE despite having a frontline role. So faced with this, Shauna and Kara decided to do something about it. They set up Sand Hands UK, a social enterprise community interest company to manufacture hand sanitizer with a mission to get PPE to people who need it most. They were nominated by Rotary Social Innovation and here's more about them. I'm Shauna Hamill, I'm 18 years old and my sister's called Kira who's 20. We started up our own little social enterprise called Sand Hands. My mum is an NHS worker, so at the time PP obviously being really scarce, it was something that we just started off giving to family and friends just to keep everyone safe and then we saw that there was a demand for it. My mum's from India, so there's a bit more of a risk there, so we wanted to minimise that as much as we could. Helping out my mum really inspired us to help out other people as well. My dad had a connection in Northern Ireland to a distillery and we thought that we would try and help out the community with supplying PPA. We've donated over 10,000 pieces of PPA in the time that we've been running Sand Hands and 20% of our profits go to chosen charities and we've helped out food banks by providing them with PPE as well. We go all across Great Britain and Ireland. We've also had sales in Peru and Spain, but we mostly benefit charities in the UK. We won the Small Business Sunday competition run by Theo Fetus from Dragon's Den. We also won a national billboard advertising campaign for Acts of Kindness and Social Enterprise Futures 2020 Roll of Honour and we were the youngest to be awarded with that. Rotaract is a part of the Rotary family. We're Rotaract Social Innovation. Our goal with becoming the co-presidents of Rotaract was to kind of bring young minds together with the same intentions of helping communities, put service above self, helping society and just aiding as much as we can really. Recently we've pivoted the business to providing masks and protection packs is what we call them. We give branded masks with the sanitizers and it kind of goes out to businesses and things like that. I design the labels and then the sanitizer comes to us in the bottles and we sit there and label it for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> we got a letter on behalf of the Queen thanking us for helping the community in a crisis. I think the reason that we kind of stood out a little bit is because of our age and it was quite maybe refreshing to see that in light of a pandemic you can still help and do your bit. Wow, congratulations, ladies. Um, Shauna, unfortunately, can't be with us because she has to work, but Kara is here. Are you on the line there, Kara? I am, yeah. There you are. Hello. 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 <laughs> congratulations to you and your sister. Thank you. Here is your award. Are you ready to accept it? I'm ready. There you go. There it is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> if only it were that easy, eh? Um, <laughs> Congratulations. How do you feel about how do you feel about about getting this award? We're just so so grateful. Um we didn't expect you know, we didn't expect our journey to bring us to this point. Um so when we started it was just kind of we started with the intention of helping our mum and our family and then kind of snowballed from there and here we are. So we yeah, we didn't expect it, but it's it's really it's got got a lot bigger than you than you thought it would, hasn't it? Because you've donated Definitely. over ten thousand pieces of PPE. Yeah, yeah, we've donated. Um, it, it was it was a massive thing for us that we really wanted the people at the front line, especially you know right at the beginning of the pandemic, um, to have all the equipment that they needed to be safe in what they were doing. So um, it was always you know, from the get go, we were um, giving free PPE to um, frontline workers because it they needed it um, and we could provide it. It's incredible because we all, you know, most of us were aware of the fact that certainly at the beginning of the pandemic, there was this shortage with PPE getting to where it needed to be. But most of us kind of saw it on the news or reported it and thought, you know, this is worrying. But not many of us were actually galvanised to do something. So what was it that kind of got you started and thinking, actually, 
I'm going to do something to help these people who need this? I think it, so it, it started from my mum, obviously, we saw that mum was going to work every day and she needed the protection. And my dad had a connection in Northern Ireland. His, um, his friends had uh, pivoted their production of gin to sanitizer. And we saw an opportunity uh, to not only help the people that you know are close to us, but our community. And then we've kind of, you know, reached other communities as well. Um, so yeah, we just kind of seized the opportunity, I guess. Um, and what sort of fee what feedback have you had from people? Have you have people been sort of have they expressed their, their gratitude? Anybody on a kind of personal level or? Yeah, I, I think the one that will always stick with me was I remember one time I did a delivery um, to a a little old lady who was shielding, um, and at the time she hadn't seen anyone for a very long time. And I remember the conversation I had with her, and she had said to me that it had made her day just to be able to even have a conversation with someone because. It, it was very lonely and I can imagine you know if you're shielding alone it, it can be as well so even just for me to be able to have a conversation with her and make her day that's you know I can't do much more than that like that that just makes me so happy. <laughs> absolutely absolutely and I think now that we're sort of coming out of it we've almost forgotten just how frightening those early days were and how <laughs> isolating it was during the first lockdown you know you were you weren't allowed to do anything we, we they didn't have bubbles so people who were on their own were on their mm -hmm. own yeah they were. Time. so and and now you guys have pivoted haven't you and you're you're doing some work to try and get get help over to India is that right tell us a bit about that yes we are um so we're I think our goal is that we always just want to help as much as possible. Um, at first, kind of our focus was on the food banks, but now we're seeing there's obviously a crisis in India. They've been hit horribly by um, by the, the virus. So we're going to do everything we can to send as much as we can um, over to India through connections that we've um, made through networking and things like that. So we're just focusing on helping, even if we could help, you know, just a handful of people, it's better than doing nothing. So. Amazing. Well, congratulations to you. Thank you for joining us. I'm very sorry that Shauna couldn't be here as well, but tell her congratulations from everybody here today listening. Everybody is so impressed with you guys and with all the winners today. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.